Hello there. My name is Dr. Leon Leroy Osterbein, MD, and the service I provide is to give medical diagnosis and prescriptive treatments to shut-ins and patients who are otherwise unable to reach a doctor's office on their own. My first patient of the day is a female, mid-50s, Ms. Jocelyn Tanell Taylor. Jossie, have we got a connection now? Come in, Jossie. Dr. Leon? Dr. Leon, can you see me? I can see myself, but I can't Jossie. see you, Dr. Leon. Jo Jossie, look at the camera, not at oh, you. Don't I look, a mess. look up at the camera. My God. There you are. Oh, hi, Dr. Leon. How y'all doing? Jossie, Ernie done told me you laid up right bad this week. I, I got so many calls to make today, I, I can't talk long. So let's get right down to it. Describe for me what's ailing you, sweetie. Oh, Dr. Leon, I hate to trouble you, sweetie. Now, you know better. There's no such thing as too small, Jossie. Lord, Dr. Osterbaum, I start cutting the grass this 30. I done run me over a yellow jacket nest with a lawnmower. Doctor, I got stung five times on my leg by a stinging bee. My leg, my leg is done swole up right bad now, Doctor. Well, I can certainly imagine. Tell me, Jossie, is that all there is to it? You got you any other symptoms, sweetie? Yes, Dr. Osterbein, and my stomach's right there, too. I can't hold it. Excuse me. Crystal, what are you doing out of the bathtub? Get yourself back in the bathtub, little Miss Dirt Clod. You daggone mud pie. And quit pulling on Kitty Cat's tail. Come here, Cupcake. Come here, Kitty Kitty Cupcake. Doctor, is there something you can do for me? I can't hold down nothing but chicken broth. Well, now hold on, Jossie. Upset stomach with a swollen leg? Oh, sweetie, that ain't no yellow jacket sting. It ain't? No, sweetie. Not when the swelling leg is accompanied by gastric distress. Now, you listen to me, sweetie. What you got is what we call G-octofibrile fibulospifoculitis. Oh my lord, that sounds serious, doctor. I, I ain't done, Jossie. With a trace of antibular vasoventricular sacrocranial trifecta coccus. Sacrocranial. Doctor, is there something I can take for this? Do Excuse me, doctor. Crystal! Why does the house suddenly smell like turpentine? Don't make me get off this couch, young lady. Please tell me there's something you can give me, doctor. Jossie, I, I want you to write this down now. Get Erna to run up to the Rexall and have Bobby the pharmacist compound you the following. Themnoneptonic lysobesiodicaltrite. Themnoliso. I'm not done. Tetrohydrobenzotritroxetrine tritrunculate. Hydrobenzo. Take two tablets every two hours for four days. Call me a week from Tuesday and let me know if you can keep down solid foods yet. All right, Jossie? Well, that's better fine, now, Dr. Jossie. Leon, but can I... Dr. Dr. Leon... I got to get on to the Where next house call. I'll see y'all later, sweetie. Bye Come now. Come in and help Mama with the computer. I don't lost Dr. Leon. Dr. Leon, you got to come back now and help me get better. Next patient, male, late 50s, Mr. Clancy Schemes. All right, Clancy, how y'all doing up that way? Oh, Dr. Leon, <laughs> hey, how you doing? It's me, Clancy Skeens. Oh, hey, oh, Dr. Leon, I done messed up my hand right bad. Me and my brother Cecil was dropping the crankcase out of my pickup and it rung me off a boat with the impact wrench. I twisted up my wrist right bad. I can't come see you till I get that crankcase put back right, Dr. Leon. The pain's right bad too. I, I, I can't get me no sleep no how. I understand. Clancy, you, Clancy, you say you got your insomnia. Son, uh, you need to be careful with self-diagnoses. Here you are thinking you got yourself a twisted wrist. What you got is clearly, clearly cryocranial angiothyroplastic molecularitis. Damn, what the hell is angio? <laughs> I'm not finished. Hemoglobular esophageal thorothyractic polyplumbulus plumbulation of the dwimbiculatory niptomatrial difungulate. Oh, hell, Dr. Osterbein, you, you make it sound like I'm fixing to die. All I got me is a sore hand. <laughs> Clancy, you the one that can't sleep at night, son. What are you, suddenly the doctor? 
Now look here. Who's doing the compounding up there at the Rite Aid nowadays? Is that boy Gerald still a pharmacist up there? Look, you get him to fill you this script now. Now you write this down, Clancy. Polyglyptro, protoidal, pyro, pyrethro, proxypine, transio, zabranio, homojecto, philasto, latrio, bomo, prandonic, frictio, franfroculate. Fricto, franfroculate. Drido, nixonitic, neonaxinate, tomium, tectoculate, gympium, jajapajate. Tri-ti-ki-si-sisto-systemic fi-flobio-flictiflate. Does it come in a liniment? Or do I gotta take pills? Apply subcutaneously via injection thrice daily for five days. Oh, oh, thank you, doctor. I, you know, I thought I only had me a sprained hand. I, I reckon I owe you a right big apology, I guess. That's all right, Clancy. I know you're not yourself right now. You let me make the diagnoses from now on, and you just make sure you sleep with your head lower than your feet for a while. All right? Feel better, Clancy. I got to run. Y'all take care now. Bye, Bye. doctor. Bye. Y'all take care. Take it easy. Let's see who's next. <laughs> The next patient, a Mr. Deacon Dubrava, a 50-year-old male suffering from a psychological condition often referred to as multiple personality disorder. Are you there, Deacon Dubrava? I don't know what to tell you. He was around here, but he uh, didn't come around here no more. I like his wife. He pretty. He pretty. I don't know. Nobody comes around here no more. Everybody just rush on by. Ain't nobody come around here. You the first person I've seen in a good 10 or 20 years. Most people don't even come by here no more. Mighty quiet. Mighty quiet now. Mighty quiet now. Mighty quiet. Now you listen to me. You listen to me. What I got to say is between you and me. I don't want to make a little bit of talk to nobody about that. It's just between you and me. Alright? Alright. Hello, Dinky. Dinky, I spoke to your mother last week and she and I agreed. We want to place you on a new medication to better treat the symptoms of your condition. The proper term for which is called Polyopituitary pyopineal prostatic periodontal pesiopyrethral zimbabulatory rhino gangster. Yes. Oh. Well, look, Rudy and his brother are gonna be over here later. So you uh stick around here, you know. You never know what could happen. You know, uh, a couple of days ago, everybody got along fine. But uh, last week there was a fight here. Oh uh I reckon he ain't going back here no more. Uh, so when I served him, you know, he was in the Chevelle, you know, I know that he had uh, he'd done some work on it. He, uh, last time I saw it was only prime, but he, uh, he done put him a coat of paint on it, and uh, uh, it looks real good now, but uh, he's heading out of town, it looked like. He had a bunch of stuff strapped on the roof of the car, and, uh, uh a big old sofa and a flat screen TV. Uh, yeah, he had all that stuff on top of his Chevelle. And uh, I, th I, I said, you better watch that old railroad uh, underpass up the road there. Because if you uh, if you don't watch it, you're going to graze the, uh, the bottom of that thing with the top of that sofa. But uh, he didn't hear me. This is me. Deaky, the medication I want to switch you over to is called... Now grab a pencil, son. Wompto abragonified in a hurryum cumquiculate, zambonium ice hoculate, dry dockium drinko drink a drink, confabulatory Johnny Joe Johnny you think you're going to get it all without me? I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you. You can't get along out there in that world. You don't know how. You know how to get along without me. Look at you, you, 
He can't even get out of the house. He afraid to leave. He afraid to leave the house. He afraid to open the door and go out in the house. He can't even leave. He can't even drive a car. What you gonna do out there without me? He need me. Do I need you? <laughs> what do you think? I can't even get up off his couch with my leg this big. Dr. Leon better give me something. I can't get off the couch. I got a baby in the other room. I just have to leave with a fin for herself. I can't get off his couch. Mm-hmm. That's the truth, too. Where to God. What you looking at? What you looking at? You looking at my eyebrows? Big old bushy eyebrows. I know. I trim them, but they still grow. Still grow a lot. I say, big eyebrows. Big ears, too. My mama had big ears. My daddy had big eyebrows. So I got big ears and I have big eyebrows. What you gonna do? I don't know, give me give me a holler. Jelly Joe John Jimbo John Jackson Jake. Dick Nickium Gargantuate. Polly Prox of Pete Fox and Socks and Eight. My Lordium Oh my God you like French Bronxium Frere Ejaculate. Rip old cry crop the cream is pin tap of lithium is no papa scout the story green nose them the train needle dickulate. Zebra ball the tall hippo giraffe. You got that down, Dicky? All right, Deaky. I'm late for my golf game, son, so I gotta run. Say hi to your mama, Deaky. We'll see y'all later. Bye now. You thought you old Mr. Big for a while there. I guess life done taught you a couple of lessons there, didn't it? Oh, yeah, Mr. Big. That's what they called you back in. Mr. Big, Mr. Big. Shit, look at you. Asshole. Where'd you say you get that shirt at? Oh, I don't want. I don't care. I just you know, I don't know where the ball is. That's all. Do you remember if I had any medium? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Leon Leroy Osterbein, MD, for allowing us with you on your rounds, bringing good health to the farthest reaches of the internet. Hey friends, that's all we've got time for today. Join us again for our next edition of Destination www.questionmark.com as we chart a course for yet more web-related adventure and surprise. I'm Boris Spalding Lopez de Bonner. See you again soon on the internet.